I'm joined now by Professor Ming Wan from George Mason University. He's Associate Dean at the School of Policy and Government. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. As our correspondent just mentioned, it's been 40 years now since the signing of the Japan-China Friendship Treaty. How would you describe relations between the two at the moment? Right now, the relationship is improving, although it's uh, uh, from a very low level. And, and Japanese Prime Minister Abe is scheduled to visit China uh, next month, uh, you know, which should help uh, improve the relationship. At the same time, the fundamentals haven't changed. History issue and territory disputes uh, remain uh, unresolved. Last week, uh, both she and Abe met at the mm -hmm. Eastern Economic Forum in Russia, their mm -hmm. first face-to-face -face meeting in, in 10 months or so, and they were pledging mm -hmm. to work closer together. Mm -hmm. So what are you looking for in that meeting in Beijing next month? What are some of the signs, some of the things that you hope to see? I think both sides uh, find it in, in their own interest to improve relations uh, from China's perspective, and uh, a, a better relationship with Japan will help uh, uh, smooth things, say, for in Southeast Asia, the Belt and Road Initiative, and also uh, China is facing uh, uh, President Trump's uh, trade pressure, and uh, Japan is facing that as well. Japan uh, also wants to improve relations because, you know, it does not want to be sidelined in the uh, Korean uh, situation, and right now it's really uh, doesn't have a direct role in it. So they, they want to participate in it. They also face sort of trade tensions. Right, yeah. because they are the yeah. second world, second and third largest economies yeah. in the world. And mm -hmm. you said they've been uh, cooperating in terms mm -hmm. of the Korean Peninsula issue. Mm -hmm. And how timely is that with what we're seeing right now? Mm -hmm. And then trade. Do you see a situation when it comes to trade mm -hmm. and President Trump, as you mm -hmm. mentioned, and we're seeing the tariffs being mm -hmm. imposed, more tariffs yeah. imposed now. Uh, could the U.S. push China and, and uh, Japan closer together? I think U.S. is pushing uh, Japan and China closer together, but at the same time, Japan has a strategic interest in keeping the alliance with the United States. I think that seems to be more fundamental for them. At the same time, uh, trade is, is, is a very important issue for Japan. They depend on export. And if uh, U.S. imposes uh, tariffs on automobile, that will be a huge blow to Japan. So that, uh, I think they are hedging. And regionally, do you see uh, countries in the Asia-Pacific uh -huh getting along better, more so now than ever before? Um, I, I think they, 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 uh, they share common interests, and uh, they do not want a trade war. Because even though uh, the, the tariff right now is aimed mainly at China, uh, but because of the supply chains, all these countries uh, provide uh, intermediate goods and, uh, to China. Uh, lots of these exports from China are, are simply assembled there. And they, are, they have parts from not only other Asian countries, but United States, Europe. And uh, so these tariffs hurt others as well. All right, Professor, thank you uh, so much for joining us. We mm -hmm. appreciate it.